for camera was off. We're fine. Um, so favorite uh, favorite champ car for the most recent batch, um, is what I want to talk about. The for my people who don't know, super new to the game. First off, thanks for joining us. Go ahead and Welcome. hit that subscribe button. That'd be really red. Um, if you win at a major, whether that be worlds or nationals, whether it be here or across the pond, um, you get <laughs> uh, made into a. Uh, a character, or uh, if your yes. team works, you get an asset or a foundation. Um, these cards are very, very cool because you, as the player, get to design them. You, as the player, get to um, uh, own the first X copy of of them, and then uh, play th play the game with them. And you are immortalized into the game. So we just got the most recent champ uh, batch, batch five. And so my question is, fellas, what is your favorite card? From or what is a card from the champ set? I'd like to stick with the as, uh, the assets that were released as opposed to um, the characters. Um, Fine. Did you want to talk about a character? I fucking love Garbrett. Yeah, that card's so fucking cool. I'm trying to pull it all up right now. But Let me just go to the regular page, right? Well, my favorite asset is definitely Black Bear Diner. Tell me about it. Uh, so it's got. The, the three people that won on there. Sorry, I do apologize. I'm newer uh, to this game, and I do not Bryce, know your guys' William, names. Bryce, William, and John. Bryce, William, and John. You guys made a cool card. So it has Turbo Man. I believe that's oh, JC. Proto okay. Man. That was really and right. then it has Satoshi, all his bears, and they're riding it. One's shirtless. The other two, they're all shredded. You know? <laughs> they're all sweet. Yoked out of their one's, mind. One's got a chain and a hat. One's got a headband. The other one, he's not wearing anything on his head. He's fine. But... It's a <laughs> two difficulty, five control, three low block. It's a unique weapon for all fire and life. I it think says, it has weapons that uh, Will can play in Yoshimitsu. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I'll talk about the asset I'll actually right, play. Cool, cool, but cool. it says E once per turn, remove one foundation from either player's staging area from the game. After this attack resolves, add the removed card to its owner's staging area. Uh, this card, I just played against it uh, as my opponent was playing an Aswell deck. Uh, holy shit, this card was really, really cool. Yeah, um, like you can like, oh, I don't want you to uh, push limits like this attack. I'll get rid of it temporarily to make sure this attack goes through. Yeah. Or even to where like, oh, I had to tap this defensive foundation. Well, now I'm not going to kill you. I'll blink it out, put it back into play. Even better, when you blink it out and put it back in, face down to go face up. And oh, so, yeah. Wow. Um, because you can't remove something in our game face down. It comes, it, it gets flip face up, removed from game. And then when it comes back, it's back in. Hey, so what he rad. was doing was he'd flip Fei Fei, commit it for a cost, blink it out, bring it back in. Hey, it's a Fei Fei. I'll flip it. And so his singular Fei Fei gave him minus six speed. Or he would do something along the lines of uh, um, he was using Profane Sanctuary twice. He make me mill two, blink it out, blink it in, mill two. <laughs> Tried telling us that wasn't a mill deck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it, it was for sure a mill deck. <laughs> yeah. Um. It, it it but like it has a low block. It's a two five. It readies a foundation. It counts towards a scorch wheel play. Um. It lets you remove once per. Or it lets you play once per turns over again. Like. Card's fantastic. Yeah. Card's it, really really. It good. has beautiful art. Yeah. Just absolutely. I, beautiful. I think all the art is phenomenal. You want to talk about yours? Yeah, mine's going to be Judgment Day. It's a 2-5 with Death, Earth, Life. Has two mid-block. It has Breaker 1 and Unique. Sick. R, Card Pool. After you play this card as a form, if your print hand size is less than your opponent's, add one card from your momentum to your hand. Red. It's Surveyor. <laughs> and then E, add this card to your hand, flip one foundation in your opponent's stage area, gain vitality. It's Dimitri. It's just Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, I thought they banned this character, right? Well, he doesn't gain two. He gains one. Which, you're right. One is not two. But this card does both, right? Dimitri said either gain two or flip. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this card's really good. I This is such a Rio-ass card, and I love it. I love him. And I love how he looks. Rio looks so sick of this. this he's like, <gasps> boom. Flexing <laughs> he's on him. Crushing it. I like the cute little baby penguin next to the lumberjack guy. Yeah, from yeah. Oliver. Yeah. Um, you and the guy that's dressed as the Punisher for the death symbol. That's Dan. That's really yep. cool. Yeah, that's a really cool card. I like that, like, you can tell, like, that, uh, yeah, Dan's death. Um, I, I don't know the middle guy's name. I'm so uh, sorry. Rio is Earth. Yeah, for sure. And then, uh, yeah, this card's, this card's really sick uh, for the fact of, like, it's, it is 
such a beautiful it's a spider suplex card. Yep, I'm gonna play spider suplex every turn. Um, honest, honestly, under death, we could play spider suplex and uh, what's that fucking card? card. Uh, Pitch your stance. What's your Elizabeth deck? Guardian slasher. Guardian slasher. We could do both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they have Guardian to block Slashers it. Is such a sick. Yeah, but like, man, can, I, can we just bring back Elizabeth? Like, straight up, like, the topic one. Like, bring straight back up, <laughs> like straight up. After you play this card in the form, your uh, printed hand size is less than your opponent's. Add one card from your momentum to your hand. Yeah. Uh, under death as a five hander, we could do. We could play this with. Uh, uh, Napalm Man, and then just Napalm Man two. And then every turn, either get your spider suplex or your guardian slasher. Like the suplex hit. I'll add the Judgment Day, add the Suplex. I'll discard a card, add the Guardian Slasher. All right. Play this. Do this. As long as you have... I think it's... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because you play this, pick up the Spire Suplex, Spire Suplex, gain the three, discard, add the Guardian Slasher. Suplex will go. This comes down during your turn. You add... Your turn, you go... You discard a card, add the card you need. During your next turn, you go do... Bomb. Yeah. Yep. And every single time you're, yeah, you you <laughs> I, like as as Napalm Man with Judgment Day, you can you can gain you can all four infinitely. Elizabeth Elizabeth used to be you could only yeah. gain three. Yeah, so you're infinitely losing one yeah. as long as you can do it. Yeah, this one just says you gain it all. I gain it all. Yep. Um, and so do you know what you know what you know what a uh, right? No. Uh, it's a reversal. Uh, it's a four diff one check with a high block. It's like a four high for four five. five or something like that. Yeah. Uh, if you block in with hand. the if you don't block, block with an attack, you get to add it back. If they block with a non-attack, you add it back to your hand. In hand, lose four life. Your opponent can't play attack cards for the rest of the turn. So I'll block reversal. You can't play attack turn. You block this with a non-attack. I'm going to pick it back up. So you either have to waste an attack on it, so you have less attacks to play anyways. That sounds lame. Uh, yes. So the deck we just talked about plays Spider Suplex, which gains you three life yeah. when it's played, and then this card after you uh, lift it gains you one. And then Spider, uh, then Guardian Slasher says, "Pay four, which I just gained three and one. You can't play attacks anymore. Here's a throw. Here's a reversal. I'll pick them both back up as Napalm Man. Throw reversal. Pick them both back up. Throw reversal. Yep. Yep. It's yep. gross. It is super gross. To the point where like being able to play uh like the t- can't play attacks on my card, my turn card, is super important. The flip." Mm-hmm. After you play a, a, an yeah. attack on my turn, put it back in your hand. But even though, like, a turn, right? It's one turn. Um, hey, I'm trying to remember the all the ins and outs for that. The, the card that I'm going to pick is uh, Surpass Your. That's the it's got UFSC in the back. Um, I don't think this is like the coolest card, but like I think I think this card is going. I mean, to be our slept logo's on. in it. I the, that we have we have to pick. I actually card. think this card's gonna be slept on a lot. First off, it has reptile symbols, which we'll get to. Um, it's a. You know how Chris Chris got away with that? Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> uh, it's a three four. four with a four high block uh, unique weapon. It's uh, uh it's really rad because it has a weapon on it. Um, enhanced flip of foundation colons attack gets plus one or minus two damage with reptiles plus and minus already. That's gonna be really silly. Um, R destroy after you block. Your opponent's attack. Their next, next check to play an attack. It's plus X. X equals the printed block modifier of your block. It's negative X. Right. And negative X. Uh, so. I block with a four. Breaker. Four. But it's yeah. not breaker. They can't cancel it with non keyword stuff. And then E once per turn. Look at the, the top card of your deck. You may discard it. That's insane. <laughs> That's so freaking good. Yeah. Like this card has three effects. And like all the other ones have like one or two. Yeah. Um, yeah. They all do. They all only have one or two. Uh, I, but I like the thing about this card is it's so it can be so defensive, and slash or like it's so uh, open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can give damage, and then you can play really well defensively with it. Thoughts? Man, Richard doesn't look. Like- <laughs> yeah, Richard's <laughs> fucking massive. Um, but he doesn't look tall. The- like he looks very like. Broad, but it doesn't look like tall. My the last thing with this is uh, <laughs> Richard. I'm sure did this uh, on purpose. It's got a four block modifier under the water symbol. Yeah. So with Faye, you can p- pick this up. If it's on top of your discard pile, you just pick it up. So like you play two of these in your deck, and it says our destroy. 
And so you are destroyed. And Do then it. as Faye, you pick it back up. And then you can play it again. No, never mind. You can't hockey talk it in. Yeah, nope. yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think the I think the champ cards are are really really solid. Uh, there's one thing I don't like about them, and that's three of the assets have evil. What? Yep. Oh, and hey, this one isn't what we're talking about, but Kevin Broberg also has evil. Yeah. It's like he could play all three of the foundations if he wanted to. Yeah, all three assets. Yeah. Or, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Totally. I'm making this shit out of Kevin Broberg. Um, my so favorite, th- my favorite part is. Let me see. One, two, three, four. I'm guessing that's a kuma. That's not an animal. There's like fucking half of them have animals in them. Yeah. Duh. Bears. This one has the alpaca. This one has a dog. The penguin. This one has a kuma. This one has a little uh, robot bird. A kuma? I don't think that's a kuma. I'm I pretty think sure it's, it's a kuma. It's just a villain. I think it's a kuma. It's it's a red haired villain wearing black with a red it's it's a kuma. <laughs> so here's here's I actually think it might be from One Punch Man. One Punch? One Punch Man? No, it's Dimitri. <laughs> I don't know. Last minute thoughts on champ cards? From one punch, but I think they're really sweet. I think Fiddlesticks has the best artwork. I think Fiddlesticks is the best card. So with that, we're going to move on to topic four.